Hello guys, today we will talk about constants in Laravel, how to structure them, and one of the possibility of that is enums, which appeared in PHP 8.1, and I will show you a practical example. This example is based on one file that I've seen while doing a personal code review. I'm not allowed to show the full project for you, but this is just one file, app helpers constant PHP, where they structured all the constants for all the project. Look at this list, notification type, verification type, ticket status, payment methods, and a lot of those possible constants all in one file. So first question to you is, would you structure it this way? Personally, I've never seen it done this way. I typically see constants, for example, in the eloquent model related to each of the model or the entity and then used within that model. But here, for example, if we take a look at ticket status and search through all the project where it is used, it looks pretty convenient, actually. So here are the examples where it is used in the controller as a constant. Then in the ticket show, it is compared if the object status is open or closed. Then in the migration, you can refer that to default value. Then in the translations, you can also have open closed as the keys for translations. Then you can set the status by referring that as text, not just status one or two. Then you can validate that by comparing the status. Also, you can use that in seeds. It's kind of like seeds. So you can reference that constant or particular value of that constant in a lot of files. And this is how it was structured in that project. So again, question to you, what do you think about this structure? And then we get to part two. And now we get to the part two of this video about enums. So I asked my colleague David to recreate that project since I'm not allowed to use the project as an example. So we have tried to recreate one constant of that on our demo project and create app helpers constant with ticket status and then create a crud of tickets, which works like this. You have a table, you open a ticket, you define something, and then you have one of two statuses which come from that constant file and you can choose open closed and a lot of files are referring to those statuses. Here's how it looks in our code. So I will show you the PHP storm search result zoomed a bit where that ticket status is actually used. It's similar to the GitHub original project. So the form request class rule in, in both store and update ticket. Then in the model, we have additional attributes like get is open attribute and get is closed attribute, which is just a helper function accessor to get ticket is open or not. Then in the factory, in additional to the main factory of ticket, we have additional states of opened and closed ticket. Then in the migration, we set the default similar to the original repository. Then in the translations, we have it like this. So statuses as key and then closed or open have their own translation. And we translated that as well to our native Lithuanian language as an example. And then in the resources views, we have for each of all the statuses to drop down value and also the same in the edit blade of form for editing the ticket. So a bit more structured than original repository, a bit more close to my philosophy, how CRUD should be done. And the repository, by the way, will be public on GitHub. So again, what do you think about this approach? So in the database, you have the number saved, but all over PHP code and Laravel code, you can refer the constant like this. And now let's get to the interesting part. Let's transform that to the enum classes of PHP 8.1. And here I will show you a pull request by my colleague David doing that thing. So you can take a look at the repository. There's a pull request for the enums. I will not merge it. I will just show it in the video for clear differences. So files change 13. And what do we transform? Instead of that helpers constant file, we have enums class. So we have enum syntax PHP 8.1, and then you define open one closed two. And how do you reference all of that in the code? So in the validation class, in the form request class, we can use Laravel function for enum. This is supported by Laravel. So instead of rule in, you have enum rule, which is part of Laravel behavior. You just pass the class and this is validated for you. Similar to update ticket request, same thing. Then in the model, instead of referencing the constant, we reference the value of the enum class, open or closed. This part is important actually. Laravel also allows you to cast the enum class 
to the value. This allows you to refer as ticket status and Laravel will transform everything behind the scenes for you. You can try it out and it's all in the documentation and I will link that in the description below. Let's move on. What else we need to change? Here, for example, we can refer constant ticket status open as ticket status open value. It's just a different syntax. And if you refer to ticket status open, there are a few more helpers in addition to value and we'll get to them in a minute. So ticket status closed value, same thing in the migration. Default again is open with a different syntax. In the translations, it's also used, but in this case, it's not a value, it's a name. So closed or open and similar in another translation file. Then for loops of enum potential values, there's cases for each of the cases of that enum. Again, you have the value and the name for each case and same for edit blade here cases. And in the index blade, what has been changed? Oh, this one, this is powered by casts. So when you have casts in your model, you can refer to ticket status and then get the name of that. So same in the index of tickets and same in the tickets show. So what is the main benefit of using enum class in PHP and in Laravel in general? By the way, I've asked that on Twitter a while ago and I will link to the tweet in the description below and there are quite a few answers. So I advise you to read all the replies and the discussions because personally, I didn't understand either. What is the difference? Whether you define the constants however you want in your own personal structure like constants or arrays or use enums in 8.1. And the main benefit is that strict structure of 8.1 and being closer to the standard functionality of the language and the framework. And then all the other features around it like validation and stuff like that and casting work in line with how language and framework works. So if you kind of reinvent the wheel and try to come up with your own structure, then all the future developers working on that project will need to learn your structure. So that's general advice kind of the closer features you use to the core language or framework, the better it is for the future of the project. And also enums offer additional validation. If something is passed some value, which is not in the enum, it works differently, behaves differently and throws different exception on PHP level, not even Laravel level, but PHP level. And actually for the record, I personally don't really like enums at all. Yes, you can use that and I've shown that in this video, but personally, in my personal opinion, I prefer to have foreign keys in the database to other tables which are flexible to edit in the future. So in this case, for example, ticket status, God knows what happens in the future. Maybe there will be more statuses, some statuses edited or removed. So it's much easier to do that in the database table flexibly than work with all those values in the code, kind of almost hard coded. So enums are a perfect solution for really strict values that will never ever change. But in my personal experience, things do change in the projects. And that's why I prefer foreign key on the database level to separate database table. But you can use enums if you prefer that. And I've shown you how to do that in this video with PHP 8.1 or the older way with constants and arrays. What do you think? Which one do you prefer? What have you used? What will you use? Shoot in the comments below and let's discuss. For example, in our quick admin panel generator, generator of Laravel code, we have select field. So you can add a field to any CRUD called select. So for example, status, and then you can define the values, both values in the database and visual, for example, open with open label text and then closed. And then we save those values in the model. So for example, we save that field, save the whole CRUD, and the code is generated in the background and I will view the code in a minute. So here we go, view code. And if we navigate to app models ticket, we have the constant in the model itself. So this is how I preferred to use something like enums before PHP 8.1 or even before PHP 8, because Quick Admin Panel was created back in 2016 when it was PHP 7.0 or maybe even PHP 5, I don't remember. So anyway, this is another demonstration and you can use our Quick Admin Panel to generate your admin panel and just general Laravel database structure. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.